Welcome. Let me go through a result in mathematics that's really kind of charming and kind of fun. It relies on something called the Intermediate Value Theorem, which one learns about in a calculus class. Uh, but, but I'm not going to go through that here. I'm just going to appeal to intu intuition here and see if we can then uh, get some interesting places. Uh, here goes. Before I do a two pancakes theorem, I guess I should do a one pancakes theorem. So imagine I went to a, a, a shop one day and I was served a pancake of this shape. I'm going to ask myself, is there a single straight line cut which will cut the area of that weird pancake exactly in half? And the answer is yes. I mean, I can make a guess and do a straight line cut, something like that. Whoops. Uh, but I think I'm a little bit wrong. I think I've probably got, according to this picture, about 42% of the area to the left. And therefore, uh, what's that? 58% of the area to the right can't do arithmetic. But I can imagine saying, okay, suppose I took this knife in this vertical position and started way to the left, which is pretty useless, that means I've got 0% of the area to the left, and slowly swept across the pancake. And I come all the way to the right and miss the pancake, but I'd have 100% of the area to the left in that case. I could argue, so this seems to be a nice, smooth, continuous transformation, this is the intermediate value theorem at play now, that I must have passed through a position that went from 0% to 100%, that was exactly 50%. Now, I'm being a mathematician. Yes, there must have been a location with exactly 50% of the area to the left, and hence 50% of the area to the right. I don't know how to get to that location, I don't know when to stop exactly, but I've proved there is one. I haven't told you how to find it, but there is one. Um, one thing to note about this one pancake theorem, which says that there exists a straight line cut that divides the area exactly in half, is that I chose a vertical cut here, but I could have chosen any direction I like and done the same argument and said, OK, take a knife, start it over here at that direction, how much is to the left? 0%, sweep across, get 100% to the left of the knife, there must have been some intermediate position that was exactly 50% to the left. So actually the one pa pancake theorem says, for any direction you so uh, choose, there exists a straight line cut in that direction that divides the area of that pancake exactly in half. Great. Now let's go to the two pancake theorem. The two pancake says, imagine you're given two blobs in a plane. Let's call them pancakes. Uh, well, I'll tell it my screen here. Da -da -da. Uh, let me draw them. Here's, whoops, where's my pen gone? One blob, here's pancake number one, and here's pancake number two. Is there a single straight line cut that will simultaneously divide the area of pancake one exactly in half, and at the same time, the area of pancake two exactly in half? Well, the amazing thing is the answer is yes. And here goes. It will rely on the one pancake theorem. The one pancake theorem says that in any direction I like, there certainly exists a straight line cut that will deal with the first pancake. Okay, so we can assume that's 50% here on the left and 50% here on the right. The trouble is with the line I've chosen in this picture is that right now I have 0% of the area of the second pancake right now to its left. All right, so let's choose a different direction. The one pancake theorem says if I go this direction, yes, there exists, certainly exists a line that uh, divides the first pancake into 50 and 50%. Okay, but again, I still have 0% of the area to the left of that line of the second pancake. Don't worry. The, uh, the uh, one pancake theorem says for this direction, there certainly exists a line that actually cuts the first pancake in 50% and 50%. And now I've got a little bit of area of the second pancake to the left of the line. Maybe it's 10%, I'm not sure. Still good enough. I want 50% of the second pancake to the left of that line. We'll keep going. Uh, this was a good color. I can't do colors. Maybe in this direction, I'll go a little bit far. There certainly exists a line by the one pancake theorem that chops the first pancake into 50% and 50%. But now I've gone too far. I've got 100% of the second pancake's area to the left of that line. So that's kind of curious. As I sweep my directions, I can find lines that work for the first pancake that vary from 0% of the second pancake to the left to 100% of the second pancake to the left. There must be, in theory, I'm not telling you how to find it, but by pure theory, there must be a line that does the trick of, that cuts the first pancake in half, 50%, 50%, by the one pancake theorem, but also passes through the 50% position for the second pancake. 50% on the left, and therefore 50% of the area to the right. Bingo. There must exist, in theory, a line that simultaneously cuts both pancakes, each in area and a half. Um, you can have fun with this, and I'll play this, uh, let you play with this and think about this. You could do the uh, pizza area and crust theorem, 
Uh, basically, suppose uh, you had a pizza. It was a very strange shape. Here it goes. And maybe it even has some holes in it. But the boundary certainly has crust on it. To do it all the way around, there's the crust, there's the crust, 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 even the hole has crust on it. I claim there exists a single straight line cut that does two things simultaneously. Divide the area of the pizza exactly in half and divides the length of the crust exactly in half as well. See if you can work on that one. Uh, another challenge would be, let's just go back to areas, let's worry about crust. This is a hard challenge, see if you can do it. I claim there exists two perpendicular lines, whoops, sorry, with the property, perpendicular means 90 degrees, that divides the area exactly into quarters. At first you might think that's obvious. You might come up with an, oh, an obvious answer of way to, that you think you prove it, but think about it. I bet you're wrong at first, because you need to do something very subtle and careful to make this work. So challenge number two. Does there exist, can you prove that there exist two perpendicular lines that cut the pizza exactly into quarters by area? And back to the pizza crust theorem, can you prove there's a single straight line that cuts the perimeter of a shape and the area of the shape simultaneously in half? Lots of fun. Uh, all this is spelled out in great detail in this Math Club book where we do some funky things with cutting things in half. All right, thanks so much.